Let's start off by taking a quick three second picture. It's set on three seconds already. Let's do a quick three second picture here. See if we can get the focus routine going and then we will go into polar alignment. This is just a test with the iPad. The iPad came out on the 28th of April with the uh, Sky Atlas um, feature and I'll show it to you here in just a second. It's at the bottom left hand corner there on the screen. Let's just see if we can get a, um, a picture to show up here. This is just going to be a quick test. There we go. Look at that. Here is the Sky Atlas. So the Sky Atlas is now available on the iPad where it wasn't available uh, before on the iPad, only on the tablet. All right, let's do a quick plate solve here. Let's see if this is going to plate solve for us. It does. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and do an autofocus routine from right here. And let's see if we can get this going. And we'll just do a quick, like I say, this is going to be a quick test just to see the autofocus routine via the iPad. And of course, using an APO, ZWO APO 130, um, the Tech Stella Vita and the TubeTech Sky Eye 62AM full frame mono camera. Um, kind of dodging the clouds tonight. We got some clouds overhead. Got a half lit moon, it looks like. Stars look pretty decent, excuse me. Let me try to get this thing auto-focused. Do this in steps, so that way it's not taking too long. Looks like it's trying to. It's got a, um, a little bit of a lag only because it's trying to load that 62 megabyte frame from that full frame camera. So I notice it does the same with my ZWO 6200. Oh, excuse me. Hopefully here it's going to lock on a star here and it should pull up. There it is. Just couldn't I, I couldn't see it. It was out of it was out of view there. Okay, there we go. So it picked this particular star here, and it's going to run through a normal V curve. It's going to run through its process and try to get it down to the lowest possible reading. Man, the crickets are out chirping tonight. Mosquitoes are out. It's nice out here. I'm sitting in this old rickety wooden chair. Every time I lean back, you can hear it creak. But it's working. It's doing its thing. Oh yeah, look at that. It's down to 1.5. It's looking pretty good. That didn't take very long at all. I think if we were using a smaller camera, um, you know, like a 2600 or something, or even a 535 or 183. I'm pretty sure we'd be dumbing out. Oh, look at there, it goes a, a uh, that might be the International Space Station. I'd have to look, but I think that's what that is. I'm going by here, right in front of the scope. It's going right underneath Polaris. So if we, 
zoom out here, it might capture it, but it's going to be a dot on here. Sorry, I'm trying to zoom out here to see if we can see the International Space Station go by here. It's just going to be a dot. I was hoping maybe it would be trailing too. Well, the autofocus succeeded, so it's it's loading up its last image. And this number should die down to like, uh, it should go down to like, what, that 1.5 or something it was at earlier? It's just trying to catch up to its last image. Here, 1.4, perfect. And um, the space station was right below... Polaris there, and that's Polaris in the center of the screen. I'm just looking to see if we could, if we might have been lucky enough to capture it. Nah. Okay.